everyone today we are starting with the new chapter synthetic fiber and plastic in lower classes you have been studying about natural fibers like in 6th standard you studied about the natural fibers obtained from plants like cotton and jute in 7th standard you studied about natural fibers obtained from animals like wool and silk and now in 8th standard we are starting with synthetic fibers which are obtained from chemicals these are the fibers which are man made fibers which are made in factories using different type of chemicals so what are different types of synthetic fibers synthetic fibers possess unique characteristics which make them popular dress materials there are certain characteristics possessed by synthetic fibers which make them more comfortable and more preferable than the natural fibers and some of the characteristics are like they dry up quickly they are durable they are less expensive they are readily available and they are easy to maintain as compared to natural fibers different types of synthetic fibers that we are going to study here are rayon nylon polyester and acrylic rayon rayon material is very cool comfortable highly absorbent good it is having good sheen and it is having soft texture it dyes well that is it can be easily dyed in various colors that is versatile in nature it is having so many good characteristics but at the same time there are some poor characteristics as well like it lacks strength it may stretch or shrink it is heat sensitive poor resistance to soil it supports mildew growth it wrinkles unless treated so their special care has to be taken to maintain rayon like it is usually machine washable it retains appearance better if dry cleaned it has to be ironed at low temperature therefore special care is required it is commonly used for clothing lining upholstery and many more purposes another synthetic fiber is nylon the good characteristics about nylon are it is light in weight it has incredible tensile strength it is very very strong fiber it has very good durability it is resistant to damage it takes dye very easily absorbs most of the water it has greater stretchability it dries slower it is smoother and softer fabric than polyester and somewhat uv resistant having so many good characteristics it is used for various purposes it is commonly used for fine sarees thread reel thread making ropes fishing line fishing nets making carpets raincoat swimwear parachutes umbrella etc another synthetic fiber is, which is commonly used is polyester polyester is very strong material it is very durable it is resistant to stretching and shrinking it dries up quickly it is wrinkle resistant mildew resistant it retains its shape and it is good for making outdoor clothing and it is easy to wash as well so therefore it is used for making various materials like backpack briefcases luggage outdoor bags tent sleeping bags windbreakers these are very few uses it is used for many more purposes one of the types of polyester is pet p e t it is used for making bottles utensils films wires and many other useful products the full form of p e t is polyethylene terephthalate another synthetic fiber commonly used is acrylic 
People sweater and use shawls or blankets in the winter. Many of these are actually not made from natural wool. Though they appear to resemble wool, but they are synthetic material. These are prepared from another type of synthetic fiber called acrylic. The wool obtained from natural sources is quite expensive, whereas clothes made from acrylic are relatively cheap. Therefore, nowadays it is more preferable to use acrylic than natural wool. This is all for synthetic fibers. We will continue with the plastic.